Hello YouTube from Carrollton, Texas. This is Cruise Man out on the 2018 Goldwing. A little less than a week before we head to Wingding out in Knoxville. And for most of you guys, uh, hardcore riders, that would probably be a two-day drive from Dallas to Knoxville. But I'm going to cram it into three days. I'm going to take my time and enjoy the ride take some back smaller highways I don't like riding on the interstate so I'm going to uh, kind of go the easy route take my time just enjoy the ride if I see something interesting I want to stop and look at I'll do it a lot of you have commented on the video that Don Smith and I did regarding the Cardo and Cena Bluetooth headsets getting a lot of good feedback a lot of great comments both on YouTube and Facebook and just I've even had a few emails from some of you and uh, some of you said you wish we had shown some close-up photos of the Cardo uh, Don mentioned that he didn't like the little buttons on the Cardo so I'm going to include that in this video as you can see right now and you know if you need to you can pause it and kind of take a closer look and it, it is true, the, the Cardo, the way the buttons are set up, it is a little more um, challenging to find them, especially if you have gloves on. If you don't have gloves on, it's no big deal. But they basically just have these little plastic nubs that kind of stick up, and you just have to kind of find them. Uh, I've gotten used to it now. I can do it with my gloves on with no problem. But it, uh, it does take a little practice and a little time. It's not quite as intuitive or as elegant as the Cena buttons are. But for me, it's not a deal killer. You also asked about the location of the electrical contacts on the Cena versus the Cardo. So I'm going to throw up a picture now and show you that. And hopefully that will um, make up for what we didn't add to the uh, Cardo versus Cena video. You know... One of the things I hate about YouTube is that you can't update a video. I would love to be able to go in and re-edit a video, add a couple of things like that, and then upload it to YouTube and have it replace the video file uh, that's currently up there. But YouTube doesn't allow you to do that. You basically have to delete the old video and then upload a completely new video. Well, that screws up your view counts. Uh, it screws up all kinds of things. Vimeo, on the other hand, does allow you to do that. And what we may start doing is we may start posting uh, side by side to YouTube and Vimeo and then have put a link on the YouTube account over to the Vimeo video, which can be updated. So I'm not sure how we're going to do that. But um, that's why I use Vimeo for all of my maintenance series videos, because occasionally... Uh, I'll see something missing from a maintenance video and I'll want to update it and change it and I can do that with the Vimeo system. So when you purchase the on-demand videos of Cruise Man's Garage for the 2001 to 2017 Goldwings and F6B, those videos can be updated and they are periodically. As new information comes out, new techniques, new tools, whatever. So a lot of you have asked me about Wingding. I know some of you are going and you want to know when I'm going and where I'm going to be and, you know, maybe have a chance to meet. I will be there Tuesday night at the Museum of the Appalachia for the opening, I guess it's the opening dinner and meetup. I'm not sure what they call it. I, I didn't pre-register to Wingding. I'm just going to register when I get there. And I don't go to all the meetings and functions and all that stuff. I don't wear the pins and the hats. I'm just not into it. But I will be at the Museum of the Appalachian. I'll be at the dinner. I'll have my Cruise Man's Garage shirt on, so you should be able to find me. And I should be there at a reasonable time, you know, probably when they open, because I want to pre-register there. I'm also planning on being at the trade show I'm not sure if I'll be there on Wednesday or Thursday because I know one day I'm going to want to get out and ride the tail of the dragon. And I'm not sure. It depends on the weather and other situations. I guess right now my plan would be 
to ride the dragon on Wednesday and then maybe go to the trade show on Thursday. And then my plan is to actually leave on Friday and head back home. I'm only going to stay two or three days. But anyway, that's my plans for Wingding. I also should mention I'm going to do something a little interesting. For those of you with a 2001 to 2017 Goldwing or F6B, if you have any interest in my Goldwing maintenance DVDs, my, my uh, DVD set, I'm going to bring 10 sets with me. I don't have that many left. So I'm going to bring 10 DVD sets with me. And I've never done this before. But if anybody wants a set of DVDs, I'm only going to have 10. So the first 10 people that come up to me will get them for a special cash price only, only cash, $75. They're normally $89 online. So bring me $75 cash and you can walk away with a set of the DVDs. But I'm only gonna bring 10 and uh, once they're gone, they're gone. So got the wing ding out of the way. Talk to you a little bit about the Cardo Cena video. By the time this video is posted, I should also have my trailering tips video out. And I just wanted to put something out there because I know a lot of people are going to be using trailers now that they have a 2018. And um, of course, it's not specific to a 2018. These tips apply no matter what bike you ride if you're pulling a trailer behind your motorcycle. So as you can see right now, I'm behind traffic in Dallas. This is pretty typical where I live. It's 7.20 in the morning. And so it's not a real exciting uh, look. This is the kind of riding I do every day, pretty much commuting. And it's not exciting, it's not beautiful, it's not scenic, it's actually pretty routine. And that's why I'm looking forward to getting away and going to Wingding and getting off the interstate and seeing some of the smaller highways. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of the Natchez Trace. I'll also be motor vlogging from the trip. So you want to make sure to check in uh, probably starting next Tuesday or Wednesday to see if I've got anything posted. I have to do it from the highway, so I have to take my laptop with me so I can edit the video. I also want to point out that if you enjoy these motor vlogs or other Cruise Man's Garage videos, please take a moment to subscribe down below to our channel. And if you click on that little bell icon, you'll get notified anytime we post a new video. Much appreciate the subscribers. We're really growing, and I'm trying to get to 12,000 subscribers pretty soon. So if you have any uh, social media outlets where you can share these videos with your friends, your fellow writing buddies, um, always appreciate it. The more the merrier. Another piece of good news we found out this week that I got my uh, writer magazine in. And uh, some of you may have noticed that the 2018 Goldwing Tour is Ryder Magazine's Motorcycle of the Year for 2018. Yeah! How cool is that? Motorcycle of the Year for 2018. So there's lots of stuff going on at Cruise Man's Garage. I'm installing the Garmin Zumo 595LM GPS on my 2018. There will be a video coming out before too long showing you how I did that installation. And I'm waiting on some mounting hardware to come in before I complete it. But hopefully I will have it all mounted and ready to go before wingding. And I will motor vlog about my experiences with that Garmin Zumo 595LM from the highway. So anyway, that's what's going on. We appreciate you stopping by. And that's about everything there is to talk about now. We'll see you next time on Cruise Man's Garage.